Hey everyone, I'm starting a new series in which I look at various fleets and ships you can use. I'm going to hopefully be looking at every capital ship because really, there is no bad capital ships to use. They each do well under various circumstances in attack. As we all know, defense is another matter though, but let's get on with the show. The first episode deals with something I like to call the Ghost Falcon. Before I go further, I want to give special mention to my fellow Pirate Alliance members, Stubbo C and Simon, for coming up with the idea and sharing the footage with me to share with you guys. So going through the steps. You want to have your fastest tune available, which will most likely be TIE Fighter Pilot. Hit a target lock. This then procs Big's taunt. So far, it's pretty much your standard opening salvo. Phantom, hopefully another target lock to give Biggs' health back or his second attack to give a critical chance up to everyone. You then want Ghost to stealth the Falcon because with the Falcon being targeted and being squishy, it's likely she gets blown up fast. This is where things get interesting. You want the Falcon to use its thrust reversal ability to get those buffs up. Now it's your capital ship's turn. And all going well, you want to give offense up to the Falcon with his strategic dominance ability whilst also giving some health back to Biggs and your other ships. Hopefully, it's the turn of the Falcon soon and this should be the end result. Then use the Ghost to mop up with attack from all angles, which will attack multiple enemies and do extra damage for any stealthed rebel allies. Hopefully you've got a few of them. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty of why this works. Starting with the Falcon. The reason you want to use Thrawn to buff the Falcon has three reasons behind it. 1. Offense up will help enhance the damage of the Falcon or even out any offense down placed on her. 2. When she uses her move Gambit, the Falcon loses all buffs on her to cause extra damage, but you can only do extra damage to the equivalent of 3 buffs lost. So if you had 5 buffs, only 3 buffs would count, but you lose all buffs regardless. 3. The first reversal buff gives you 3 stacks, but you lose a stack on taking damage, so if you add Falcon get hit straight after using Thrust Reversal, you only have 2 out of the maximum of 3 buffs to max damage the Gambit. But by using Thrawn's Strategic Dominance, it gives the Falcon 3 buffs, then coupled with Ghost Static Jammer, which will double up as protecting the Falcon from being focused on and being buffed, means you have 4. All in all, ideally these should be the buffs the Falcon has if she's been attacked. 2 stacks of Thrust Reversal, Stealth from the Ghost, Offense up from Thrawn, and Critical Chance up from the Phantom Special. Realistically, that's pretty much it. Stubble's Falcon is only 5 stars, so you can imagine that with the extra 2 stars, the damage will be up to slightly, and most likely would wipe out anything in its way. You could possibly shift in a few different ships, but the synergy between Ghost and Phantom is handy because if the ghost is critically hit, the phantom will taunt. So you kinda have two tanks on the team to deflect fire from the falcon, which is the most vital part of the team, and each ship has its purpose. The team itself has helped Stubbo climb into the top 20, with Simon managing first place pretty consistently. I'll probably try and farm the falcon myself after seeing this, as I have most of the other ships as they are easy farms. Next episode guys, I'll be showing you my arena team, so stay tuned and click that subscribe button to keep up to date with all the new content. For more info on joining the Pirate Alliance, check the description below. I'm now going to leave you with the 5 battles Stubbo sent me and you can see how often the Falcon does the damage and the Ghost mops up what's left. Enjoy!